Today in this class, I will discuss all the long textual question and answers from the lesson, The Verger. This is a chapter included in the syllabus of Alternative English for HS second year. Please note, you can download the PDF of these notes from the link given in description. In the previous class, I have already discussed all the 1, 2 and 3 marks textual question and answers of this chapter. I will provide the link for that class in the description. You can also watch all the other classes using the link given in description. So let's see the first question. In your opinion, what kind of person was the verger? Answer will be In my opinion, Albert Edward was an extremely confident man. He was very secure with himself. In any event, when the vicar let him know that he needed to leave the occupation of verger if he did not learn to read and write within three months, he didn't feel broke. Instead, he informed him that at his old age, he would not be able to learn to read and write, and he happily offered to resign as soon as they found somebody to take his place. Additionally, the verger was an intelligent and business savvy individual. He made the decision to open a cigarette shop in the same street where there is no cigarette shop, which helped him become a successful businessman. Let's see the next question. Attempt a character sketch of the verger. Answer will be in this essay, the verger William Somerset Maugham has portrayed the character of the verger. Despite his lack of literacy, Albert Edward Foreman served the St. Peter's Neville Square for 16 years as the verger. When he was 12 years old, he worked as a page boy in the home of a merchant prince. He then, at that point, rose from fourth to the main footman and later he had been independent butler to a widowed Pyrrhus. Additionally, Foreman worked as a butler with two men under him in the residence of a retired ambassador prior to his appointment at St. Peter's. Albert Edward Foreman was a man of confidence and self-respecting nature. He did not feel shattered when the vicar discovered that the verger could not read or write and instructed him to either learn to read and write within three months or leave the position. Instead, he informed him that he would not be able to learn to read and write at this age and offered his resignation happily. Albert Edward Foreman was a man of great business acumen and common sense who was both realistic and proud. Let's see. The next question. Narrate the circumstances under which the verger had to lose his job in St. Peter's Church. Answer will be. Albert Edward Foreman worked as a verger at St. Peter's Church for 16 years. He has done all the duties of the office to the satisfaction of everyone concerned. Everything was continuing flawlessly until the new vicar came. The new vicar was a well-educated man. At the point when he came to realize that the verger was an ignorant man, he was stunned. Thus, one evening the vicar requested the verger to come to the vestry. When the verger found the two church wardens already seated with the vicar in the vestry, he felt a little uneasy about what might be going on. The vicar informed the verger that he had something unpleasant to say to him while he was pondering the situation. The troubled expression on the faces of the two church wardens led the verger to believe that the vicar had been nagging them and might have coerced them into doing something against their will. The verger had accomplished the office's responsibilities to everyone's satisfaction, the vicar acknowledged. However, he was surprised to discover that the verger was illiterate. In that scenario, 
The verger would not be permitted to continue working at St. Peter's, a prestigious church. Therefore, the verger must learn to read and write within three months or leave his position, as the vicar stated. However, the verger wouldn't take the deal and liked to leave accepting that it was too late now to learn. Thus, due to these circumstances the verger had to lose his job at St. Peter's Church. Okay, that is it for today. We'll see you in the next video.